Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode two of Healing Good Pretty Hair. So let's go ahead and get started in three. Hold on. Okay, no, because my mouse is wanting to be stupid today. In three, two, one, go. I guess that's the reason why they wanted to put the captions like that. <laughs> Can't say no to that face. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, she seems like the yeah, she is the one sided chick who was just in love with the bad guy. Instant Misa from Death Note. <laughs> I cannot believe this freaking Miss Kobayashi. Miss Kobayashi is playing a boy and I love it. Oh my god, because I knew that voice is so familiar to me last week and I was like, I know it, I just can't think of it. And then I looked it up and then first thing I saw, Miss Kobayashi's maid dragon. Kobayashi. What the fuck? But it's awesome. I fucking love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so apparently someone that, oh, like, one of my close friends are saying that I'm going to cry in this episode. So I got some tissue just in case. And there's this fan art that I saw between last night and this morning of a girl. And I think we're going to find what that means, like, later on in this episode. I'm not 100% sure. But we'll see. I'm just really excited to be able to watch this on a Sunday. Uh, but, uh, so happy. <laughs> I just need a credit list freaking opening credits. And I know we're not going to get it for a long time. Even though I have my new intro now show, y'all ain't going to see this until, until like tomorrow, whenever something comes out. But still, like the day we get a credit list opening up the show, just that little part of all three of them with them for you, guys, because it's going to be so Uh. Yeah, low profile. <laughs> After you got hit by a woman last week. Oh. 
Yeah, but it's not just going to be her. She's going to have help. <laughs> now, if this episode is going to go like I think it is, these two are going to have their first fight. Honestly, y'all going a lot quicker than, you know, Sakura and Kiro. Because <laughs> I like, how long did it take Sakura and Kiro to have their first fight? Well, you know, for now, like, Nadoka is all your apartment <laughs> until you find yours. No, oh my god, Nadoka. <laughs> mm. Stop giving me Kark after Sakura feels please, because oh my god, all the person Sakura is falling and just like, ah. It'd be interesting if all three are in the same class. Okay, Hina, you, you are giving me Mio feels from Idol Master. Oh, like Chiyuki, but just Chiyu. Okay, sweet. <laughs> yeah, definitely giving me Mio feels from Idol Master Cinderella Girls. When you were running yesterday. Yeah, for someone who's named Cure Grace, she's not very graceful. Oh! Oh, hey, poor thing. It's okay. You know what? She was like that in Simple Gear. It's <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
She's so cute. Oh. Just take your time. Mm -hmm. Start slow and steady at your own pace. Yeah, you can't just do that. That's so mean. Mm hmm. Freaking making me cry. Oh my god. Oh my god, Kobayashi, stop. Please. Thank you. I don't think you are. Yeah, but you can't do anything. Ravenine is near. You have to transform with Ravenine. I mean, this is like Mutharoon. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we serious? Oh. oh. <laughs> I honestly thought it was going to work for a moment, but like, let's go. Because then she could have really been Hibiki because Hibiki is orange. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> oh. 
ko. She's trying her best even though she can't transform. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking stop, I can't! Damn it, it's only episode two and I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my god! My God, feel this episode, Jesus Christ.
stop. Just stop. 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 You know what the hell I'm about to say. You giving me Go Princess Pretty Girl vibes again. Like, stop. Please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine the kids they had to freaking get for these <laughs> babies? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking cute, I I just, I don't know what to say about this episode. This was so just as good as the first episode. I can't. Like, oh my god. This is just, uh, it was everything. I love the fact that they even went a little more in detail on her illness and how, you know, she had doctors and her family and everyone else, like, caring for her and stuff. Like, please stop. You, my god, it's week two and you're still making me relate to this freaking character and I love it so much. Like, oh my god. I can't even remember the last, like, what, what was the last time I said I related to a character? I kind of related to Yukari in some way. Yeah, mm -hmm. there was one episode for Yukari that I related to a lot and I was just like, oh my god, me in a nutshell. Um, but yeah, this is just so good. I can't, like, oh my god. Two episodes with her. I mean, Jesus. And I just cannot wait to see, you know, Chinyu next week. I think she's going to be so good. And it's funny how both all three girls are all in the same damn classroom. I mean, it's so obvious, but it was good. I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I really have nothing bad to say about this. I loved it. I mean, but you can see, like, okay, here's all the normal characters. Who are the main characters of these shows? Look at the hair. Even though the hair is not brightly colored and i'm really glad that they're doing that with this show because sometimes just a little bit And we'll be in the middle. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh my god. Okay, but as I was saying, sometimes, just sometimes, when they um give the main characters in their normal attire these like brightly colored hairstyles, it makes them like in the beginning, like I will love it. It's always good. But like when you're maybe like to the halfway point of the show and when you see it so much, like my eyes would always just be like, I don't know if this is like this with everybody, but like some people can maybe account for this. Like sometimes when you give a character too much of a bright hairstyle, it gets a little irritating to look at like later on in the series. But I'm glad that these girls have like regular hair color styles, but you can still dye it in something else. But I mean, I can compare it to is like Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode and Go Princess and then a little bit of, um, Maho Girls, even though Hachan's hair, I mean, it's pink, and I loved it AF, but, you know, pink ain't, like, a typical regular hairstyle. You may see it sometimes, unless you have a wig as well, but still, I mean, uh, this was just, to have not one, but two episodes that still centered on Nadoka, like, I, props, please, because, like, it, it did give me still feels to a little bit of Go Princess, because I think Go Princess had, like, either two or three episodes where What's-Her-Face was the main person who we were following the POV until What's-Her-Face with Cure Mermaid came in and such, and I really like that. I mean, like, it's the difference between, um, Maho Girls or even, uh, Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl on Mode or even Hagato 
and um, Star Trek will combine because typically it's like, okay, here's pink and we're already getting ready to go into blue. And then next thing you know, it's by, it's episode five and we have all four girls or all five, my bad. But I mean, with this, and I'm guessing they're kind of going to do it a little bit like Go Princess where it's like, okay, here's two episodes, two episodes go with one character and then here's the next year. I don't think after once um, Chi, uh, I'm about to say Chiyuki, Chiyu, when she becomes a character, I don't think they're going to take more like a two episode break to really focus on those two unless they really want to. They can. I would like to see it, but I think what they're going to probably do is right after Chiyu gets hers, Hinata is going to be the next one to get hers no matter what. I don't think they're going to do like a two episode or maybe a one episode. I can see that more than a two, but it really just depends on them. But I mean, can we just talk about Hinata for a second too? I, I like I love all three of these girls, but Hinata gives major, major freaking Neo feels from Idol Master Cinderella Girls. If you haven't seen Idol Master Cinderella Girls or Miu's voice actresses in um Layback Camp, I would suggest watching like both of those shows or maybe just Lay backing up to just see like the aesthetic, but uh, well, no, the the personality is there and laid back camp, but the aesthetic really is more in Cinderella Girls, but not when Miu goes on her little thing that I can't really talk about because I don't think a lot of people have seen Idol Master Cinderella Girls because of spoilers. I mean, because Neo acts a certain type of way, and, yeah, but just the aesthetic of how she acts and everything, I'm like. Mio in a nutshell. I mean, she's just so good. And I think for both uh, Hinata and Chiyu, I think these are their voice actresses' very first roles, iconic, for them. And it's good to see, you know, even though, yeah, you got an amazing VA as Aoyuki, as Nataka, but, like, to see character, I mean, not characters, uh, voice actors who, if this is their first time job, like, to getting out there, because who knows, like, the opportunity they'll be getting either while they're on this show for the next year or the year after. Because, I mean, you have to look at um, Lala's VA. And I'm going to, I got to correct myself on it. Lala wasn't um, Olivia, because I keep getting Olivia and Kasumi's VAs mixed up so much in Asabi Asabase. Lala's voice actress was actually Kasumi. In it. And she's actually in um, one show that I watch on Mondays and a couple other things. So she's gotten a lot of roles even while she was on that show, on Pretty Care. And then anything else, she's been, she's playing a lot of iconic characters for me. I'm like, oh my god. And it's the same thing with, like, um, freaking Olivia's VA. And then kind of with What's Her Face from Asabi Asa was like, but yeah, I literally cannot wait to see what these characters are gonna go, um, have in store for them. The challenges that they're gonna face, the opportunities that they're, they're gonna bring for this show, the lessons that they're gonna learn. I mean, it's only episode freaking two, and I just, I love it. And I'm, I don't really want to, mm, no, I'm not going to say that. But yeah, that's all I need to say. I'll keep that little thing to myself until I say, maybe until about episode 10 or 15, maybe that's when I'll say it. I don't know if I'll remember. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 2 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all, hopefully, maybe next Sunday for episode 3. I I'm going to go ahead and say this now. If by some whatever means happens next Saturday... If the if episode three comes out at midnight, and if I'm still up, I usually am up at midnight. Um, I'll go ahead and watch it then, and then get it out early in the morning or like early in the afternoon for you guys. It just depends because I feel because the fact is it's coming out so early ish. They're getting them out the subtitles like ASAP by between Saturday night. I mean, yes, yeah, Saturday night, Saturday morning, but. Who knows? Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!